So it's something a little bit different today. The sun's out, the weather's nice, so I'm chilling in the back garden. You might be able to hear the water feature trickling away behind me, except that's not a water feature. Yeah, that is a homemade aqua bag. So for anyone who hasn't seen one of these aqua bags yet, they're basically a giant rubber ball filled with water to use as a punch bag. And they are extortionately expensive. So I did a bit of experimenting. And after a hunt round on the internet, I managed to pick up a second-hand boat fender for 10 quid. It's 20 inches, so it's actually huge. And from what I can work out, it's exactly the same as an aqua bag. They're rubber, one holds water in, one keeps water out. What's the difference? The fill valves on them, one you fill with air, one you fill with water, exactly the same valve. It's just a screw top with a hole. So, today I decided to hang it up, fill it with water, and give it a go. Except it's been filling up now for about 25 minutes, and we're just over halfway. And my hose has a slight leak, so as you can see, everything's getting a little bit wet. However, I'm gonna sit here and sunbathe until it's done, and then once we're finished, I'll give you an update and let you know how we get on. waiting for it to fill up and decided to give it a go. We're up to about there on the water level, so it's not too bad, not too much, not too little. To be honest, it could probably do with a little bit of air in the top because it's a little bit on the soft side, but that's my fault and that's something that I can fix. Overall verdict so far, for what I paid, I can't complain. Um, to hit it, it is actually it's closer to hitting a real person than it is than, than a heavy bag is. Um, there's a little bit more give in there. Uh, let's have a quick. If I spin that round there, so if, if I see that, there's a bit more give. There's a bit more movement and a bit more flex, which obviously you don't get with a heavy bag, which is just solid. So there's a little bit more feedback, but at the same time, it's quite solid. Definitely wouldn't recommend hitting it flat out. Uh, either bare knuckled or without gloves. Um, I mean, I'm, I've only got my wraps on at the moment, and it's still fairly solid, and I can feel that, feel that through them. Uh, and actually, it's sort of fingers have gone a bit pink. Uh, for kicks, brilliant, definitely, definitely kick one. Um, loads of feedback on that. Again, you've got that bit of squidge, then it's more solid. But you're going through it. You don't just bounce off it like you do with a heavy bag. It's really nice. So yeah. Would I pay full price for one? Probably not. In fact, no, definitely not. <laughs> However, for what I paid for this, I gave the guy 10 quid. I'd go up, it's a little bit big, in all honesty, when I, when I got it. Um, I was aiming for a sort of a 16, 17 inch version. This one's the 20. Nothing wrong with that, but I think I might prefer the smaller size. Uh, to buy one new, I was looking at about 35, 45 quid. Um, to be honest, I might actually, I might do that. I might spend £45 on one. So, yeah, this one, it's an, it's actually, it's a boat buoy. It's a polyform. It's an A4. Uh, I was aiming for an A2 or an A3, ideally. Um, while we're here, in fact, while I've got it here, I'll show you to fill it up. This little nozzle on the top. Flat-bladed screwdriver, twist it open. There's a little air valve inside. 
which you can just poke through with a screwdriver and then fill it with a hose. It takes a while, but whatever, it's fun. Go for it. Definitely, definitely try it.